Our forecast with meteorologist Matt Peterson, the skylight doesn't look too shabby right now. At least it's dry for the time being, Matt. Yeah, hey, Jen, it is dry right now. And while, yes, our neighborhood network here in Center City looks a little bit gray, I did take a step out on the CBS3 sky deck, and there is some sunshine trying to break through those clouds here this morning. Unfortunately, it does look like it is going to be a day of more cloud cover than anything else. Again, while we could have a couple of maybe breaks here or there of some sunshine getting through those clouds, for the most part, it is going to be a kind of gray, dreary start to the month of August. Highs today in the city only in the 70s or so. Showers, an isolated rumble of thunder not thrown out, and that's the same kind of for the shore as well. Again, not a day of washout conditions, but 70s showers, some thunderstorm activity as we go through the afternoon. Up in the Pocono Mountains, probably less sunshine than anything else later today. Temperatures only staying in the 60s most likely and especially later this afternoon with our thunderstorms we could actually have a, a chance of maybe some gusty winds thrown into the mix too. So this morning it's breaks of sunshine like I said spotty showers kind of rolling through already in some areas south of the city this morning through the afternoon and the evening scattered showers and thunderstorms. So not a washout of a day but anytime really through the afternoon and into the evening hours you can count on somewhere even here in the city getting some kind of precipitation. And then as we get into the overnight, that's when our showers start to wrap up. And on the backside of a cold front that will be clearing us out, the skies start to kind of clear out as well. So high temperatures today only in the 70s. Again, talking about showers and thunderstorms across the region. Not going to be the greatest day here for our end of the weekend or start to the month of August. But Storm Scan 3 shows there are the showers already working their way in kind of west to east across kind of the southern half of the region at this point. Late showers across Chester County, some scattered activity across southern Newcastle County as well, and now getting into the Jersey Shore area coming across the Delaware uh, Bay and then also down into southern Delaware too. So not a great start to things. We're tracking the areas of showers to our south, kind of associated with an area of low pressure. And then our cold front again, that is what comes in later this evening that could give us a threat for some gusty winds. So future weather takes us to about 9, 9, 15. Scattered shower activity for us. That continues through the morning and the afternoon. You'll see, again, not wash out by any chance, but basically any time during the day, don't be surprised if you see some showers, if you see some raindrops coming down, or even hear a rumble of thunder, especially from Philly and South. But again, across I-95 and even our southeastern PA suburbs, not totally ruled out to see some shower activity. 8 o'clock, here comes the cold front out across Berks County in the Lehigh Valley. It washes out as it gets closer to the city itself. By 12 o'clock, about midnight or so tonight, really done. And then Monday, looking pretty nice. When it does come to that chance for some gusty winds today, it will happen across Berks County, the Lehigh Valley, or the Poconos, maybe even across far northern parts of Bucks and Montgomery County. That is where we have a marginal risk today of severe weather, level one out of five. And again, basically for brief heavier downpours and some stronger gusty winds. 76 today, much quieter tomorrow. Sunshine and a high of 82. Jam, we're looking pretty good Tuesday, too. By the middle and end of the week, though, we'll crank up our shower chances once again. All right, Matt. Thank